All right, guys, we're back. Um, we got our new motor um, assembly, and that's right here. This is the old one. Now you can see, see how it stops? So that motor seized up. So that's why we are replacing it. Um, we do enough out of these that whenever we replace a unit, we always, you know, part them out. Um, so we was able to save one of these and just change the motors um, so we can have a quick swap out. Um, so this is what it looks like without it. Um, and we're going to put uh, this one on. So just bear with me here. I'm going to set you down. So when you're putting this on, you got to feed these wires through a access hole. And that access hole is going to be right here. So when you put the fan on, you'll lift it up, get your hand in behind it. And you'll shove the wires through the other side here. It's proving to be a challenge to do this one-handed. Alright, once you got them through there, you'll grab a hold of them. You're going to pull them all the way out. And then you want to set this around the lip here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Set you back down. Once you get that set down um, and lined up, give these wires a tug one more time. That way we know there's nothing, no loose wires in here for that fan blade to hit. So, now to hook these up. So, like I said, they had a yellow wire. We have a purple. It's going to go on DF2, defrost 2. You want to make sure those connections are tight, so do the tug test. The power is off. I pulled the disconnect out. Um, and then the black wire, which they had a black wire, will go on that little connection. Again, do the tug test, make sure it's tight. And then they had two brown wires. So one brown wire would go on the common with these, and one brown would go here. This one is the Herm, which is to your compressor. So we're gonna put the brown wire over here. Now a new, com new capacitor will say Herm Fan Common. An old one that's rusted out, you won't be able to tell. 
So um, best way to tell is generally you're going to have two hooked up to the common. If you see two browns, one hook common, one hook here, then you know it's a universal motor or something um, along those lines. All right, so we're all hooked up. Um, so what we can do before we go ahead and attach everything onto here um, is we can go ahead and plug it in and give it a test fire. Again, make sure that's in there tight. Make sure this is closed. All right, so now we have power to the unit. And there's a contactor right here and there's a little button when they when they call for cool or heat inside 24 volts will come out here and pull this contactor in it's just a little spring so what we're going to do um, because of the COVID-19 situation um, we're not going inside um, so we're trying to do as much work from the outside so I'm going to push this in um, with a pair of uh, wire strippers um, this is live you do not want to touch anything but this button so the fans running the fans running that's all I wanted to know so now we'll go through and we'll connect all these points in like right here these sometimes don't line up these wires um, wire cages um, sometimes you gotta play with it but um, that's all I got for you we're gonna hook this up we're gonna put the cover back on um, and I'll go knock on the door and uh, have them uh, turn it on that way I can come back out here and I can put my gauges on just to make sure that um, their freon levels are good um, and everything's functioning properly thanks guys